Yeah, Pete, we're that much closer to kickoff, and it's been 31 years since the Hornets has, have seen a district title. So it's safe to say that last game against United meant a lot. But this game tonight would be the cherry on top to a storybook season. Ever since we were in ninth grade, me and Jackson Rand, we were sitting in one of my coaches' room and we were like, we're going to win districts whenever we're older. And we kind of made that dream come into reality. The Juniata Valley Hornets, District 6 champions and local celebrities. We stopped at a, at a sheets and, and the, the people behind the cash register even said, hey, you folks won the district title. Congratulations. But like everything in life, good things take time. 31 years we haven't had D6 championship and we brought it home to JV and um, it's, it's an unreal feeling. I was a manager on the team for the team 31 years ago. Coach Bill Musser, a Juniata Valley native, Bloomsburg University grad, and overall Central Pennsylvanian, stayed true to his hometown team. You know, I don't view this as a, as a championship for myself. I view this as a championship for this community. Whenever I have this medal around my neck, I think about all the hardworking people here and, and what it means to them as well. Everybody can talk about playing well, everybody can talk about working hard, but they set their example of their actions of they are going to play hard, they are going to work well, and you know, we're seeing again the results of it right now. 1987 to 2018, and now it all comes down to Friday night under the lights as the road to Hershey is just four quarters away. I mean, every one of us, we've, we've enjoyed the ride so far and we, we hope it's not over yet. Uh, we just got to finish the book. We knew coming into the season we had a lot of talent and uh, we knew that if we could put the work ethic with that talent, we had a really good chance of being in a special place. Uh, the level of how special that is, well, we haven't finished that off yet. Yeah, they haven't finished it off yet, so kickoff, 7 p.m. Uh, we'll have the highlights tonight at 11, but for now, we're live under the lights in Danville. For WTAJ Sports, I'm Rosie Langello. Pete, back to you.